Drinking buddies, I am really enjoying these blind flights. It's a double blind here. I don't know what's in any of these. I'm finding it really fun. I hope you are too. Let's dive right in. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So in two of these, I have samples that have been given to me by fans of the channel. Um, and then in one of these is something from my collection here. Told my wife to pour them double blind. I don't know what's in any of them. I told her if it's like low proof samples to pick something low proof over here. If it's high proof samples to pick something high proof over here. If it's rye, pick something rye from over here. Um, so something here, uh, only way to find out is to dive right in. Mm -hmm. This one's got a really nice, just immediate oak note and that's that is not something I often get um, off the bat. Like, I went in and I'm immediately oak. <sighs> Honey, um, there's something citrusy on here. Lemon zest. Great nose. Brown sugar. We are in low proof territory here. Um, that is low proof, um, but very flavorful, whatever it is. Um, there's a little bit of a mesquite thing on this. Uh, what subtle, but oak. Um, some, some barrel tannins, but not overly bitter. Sweet initially, but that sweetness immediately dissipates and it goes into more of those like bitter oak notes. This is, this tastes pretty old, whatever this is. Oh, okay. This is like cherry and grains and, I mean, I hate to say it guys, I, I hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong here, but it smells like buffalo trays. I don't want to snipe a guess, but it smells like buffalo trees. I mean, the distillery, not specifically the bottle. Huh. Yeah, I'm really feeling like that one's buffalo trees. Um, that's cinnamon um, and, and cherry. Uh, delicious, delicious pour. Um, wow. Yeah, that's really good. Whatever that is, is really, really good. Um, I like it more than the first one, just purely because this one did have a little bit of that, you know, bitter, tanniny, oaky thing taking over. It bordered on too much of that. It wasn't quite too much of that, but it bordered on it. Yeah, that's really good. Um, that might be Weller 12. Um, oh, okay. That's, um, this is like way more bright and citrus. Wow. Yeah, this is like complete, like night and day different than these two. Yeah, this is more like, like fresh and like, Maybe a little herbal? I don't know what herb, but great nose. Oh. Huh. I'm definitely tasting something familiar here, but I'm not really Picking up exactly what that is. Um, the tasting notes, uh, bourbon, vanilla, uh, brown sugar, um, a little bit of a maple-y thing. Very sweet on this one. Uh, sweeter than the other two. Maybe younger than the other two, possibly. I really like that. Whatever that is, I'm very pleasant. I'm very pleased with that. 
don't know if it's as good as either of these, but I, I really like it. Whatever it is, solid core. Um, I'm gonna go through these one time. I'll either fast forward through this or cut it out completely. When we come back, I'll try to snipe some guesses, tell you which one's my favorite, and then we'll reveal, well, you already know what they are, but I don't. This is really interesting. Um, I, it just, she just wrote Buffalo Trace Kosher. I don't know which one she poured. Let me find out. So I have confirmed that uh, this one is the Buffalo Trace Kosher Rye recipe. So it's going to be the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace, Stag Jr., E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare. Um, <clears throat> made available kosher for Passover. Actually, I don't even think it's kosher for Passover, but it's certified kosher and uh, um, it's a little bit older than standard Buffalo Trace and a couple proof points higher. It's 94 proof. Probably why it was my favorite. So number one was Blue Note. I don't know anything about this Blue Note. Um, holy crap, no wonder I thought it tasted old and oaky. It's 17 years old, drinking buddies. 92 proof. And then it's funny that I thought this might be 10 cup tenure because this one ended up being 10 cup tenure. It doesn't taste that old. They're, like normally off a of 10 year bourbon, I would get like more uh, bitter oak tannins. It doesn't, it doesn't taste that old. Um, for, I actually think that this one tastes older than this. Shout out to Steven Sarah Music. I'll link his YouTube channel in the uh, comments below. Um, local uh, musician, um, we've made friends and uh, he gave me some samples today and I'm glad one of them ended up in the, the blind so quickly. Um, that's really cool. Uh, but 10 cup tenure came from him. So thank you, Steven, for that. Pleasantly surprised with all three of these. Um, it's pretty cool. This blue note, um, I, I would have guessed the age on this to maybe like 10 to 15 years. It being 17 years old is really cool because I may, maybe should have known that this was not the 10 cup. I shouldn't have guessed the 10 cup because the second time I went through, I noticed Dickel Minerals on this, and I think this might be 17-year-old Dickel. Um, and it's it's good. I, I'm not a Dickel hater. Uh, some people just straight up hate on Dickel all the time, but I kind of like that mineral note. And I can usually snipe that note off and, and you know immediately know that I'm drinking something from Dickel. Buffalo Trace Rye Recipe, and last up was the 10 Cup 10, which was you know neck and neck with this 17-year-old bourbon here. Um, Drinking buddies, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to do these again a lot. Um, and I have new uh, merch up as well, a new shirt for the holidays uh, up on my, on my uh, website, uh, www.imyourdrinkingbuddy.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm your drinking